Hello everyone and welcome back to Crochet Delight. I'm Barbara and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this stitch right here. This stitch is called the bean stitch and what I did here was I just repeated it until I got it the length that I wanted and I made it into a cowl. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made this stitch. This stitch is pretty easy. As you can probably tell, it's another take on the puff stitch. But um, the majority of patterns usually need a even number of stitches. For this one, you need an odd number of stitches. It doesn't matter how many stitches, so long as you have an odd number. And today, the odd number I'm going to use is 25. So, let's get started, shall okay, we? Okay, so today I'm going to be using a mandala cake. The mandala cakes are by Lion Brand, and this is the color Gnome. And right here, it recommends that you use an H hook and that's exactly the hook that I'm gonna use but with this yarn you can use I would say an F hook if you wanted a nice tighter stitch because even though it's a worsted weight it is pretty thin so any hook from a size F all the way to a size J would be perfect with this yarn so today I am going to use the recommended hook size, which is the 5mm hook, which is also an H hook in US terms. So for the cowl, if you want to repeat the bean stitch until you get it the length that you want it to make it a cowl, you will need only one mandala cake. If you want to make it an nice scarf instead of a cowl, you'll need at least two. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and chain 25. Alright, so I went ahead and I chained a total of 25. Again, you can use any number of stitches so long as you have an odd number of stitches. So, what you're gonna do now after you get your chain done, you're gonna skip the first two stitches from your hook you're not going well, for the first one, the very first one, you will be uh, yarning over I just recommend that. Then you're gonna go into the third stitch pull up a loop and you're gonna do that three more times And the reason why I recommend it for the very first stitch is so that you can find your first stitch. Then you're going to pull through all the loops and chain one. And that will be the only time that you yarn over before going into a stitch. So your chain is going to twist and your chains are going to shrink when you go to do your next stitches. What you're going to do next is you're going to skip a chain, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. That's one. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. That's two. Do that again and that's three and you're gonna do that one more time for a fourth time and you should have eight loops on your hook pull through all eight loops and then chain one and that is literally all you're gonna do for the entire row now go and skip one chain skip this one right here and go into that one right there pull up a loop two, three, and four. 
pull through all loops, chain one. And this is what you should have. Now go ahead and do that all the way across. One, two, three, and four. Pull through all the loops, chain one. Go ahead and do that and I will show you guys what to do on the next row. Alright, so when you get to your last two stitches, which you probably can't see them that well here, um, you're going to go into your last stitch and you're going to do your four turns. So, pull up a loop, that's one, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's two, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's three, yarn over, pull up a loop, and that's four. Now on the ends, you're going to pull through all the loops, and then this will be the only time that you do a chain two is on the end. Every time you're going to start a new row, chain one, chain two, and then turn. And then where there's a hole right in between each stitch, there should be a thread running right through it. You're going to go right before that thread, right here, and you're going to make your next stitch. So, always do not yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, that's two, yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop, for three, yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop, and that's four. And then pull all, th pull through all loops, and then chain one. And there you have it. That is the pattern. And you're just going to repeat that all the way across, and for however many rows that you want. So, there you go, you just learned the bean stitch. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys are staying warm, and stay safe on the roads, it's icy. Have a delightful day, and happy hooking everyone!